And today we've got an original composition by Mr. Solo. Yep. And uh, it's got a, quite an interesting name, too. It's a, what are they, one of the hybrid... It's a gold hair hackle ratiboom. Gold hair hackle ratiboom. Well, I've heard of the gold hair hackle before in different combinations yeah. of different things. I've heard of a casaboom. And you've heard of a rat. And we've done the rusty rat. So I should take it that this is a combination of the rat and style the and the casaboom style. Sure. And you all on your lonesome came up with Rataboom. Rataboom, boy. I, 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 Rataboom, I, Rataboom. I, yeah, I dwelt about that one last night. I said, well, my God. What am I going to call it? Yeah. In the middle of the night, you, you yeah. popped up and screamed out in the well, middle of the night. Well, I was going to say, I was with the gold hair hackle crap and... <laughs> Rataboom. That was it. Or I should have called it the gold hair hackle crock. Crock. Yeah. yeah. Well, Rataboom it is. Rataboom. That's the, the world premiere. I'll hold this uh, Rataboom out here. Eh, that's not too bad a name. Rataboom? No. Okay, so what makes this a Rataboom? Okay, you, at you have elements of the rat and the casaboom. The, the rat, you can see the uh, peacock sword for the tail and the gray gray fox guard hairs for the wing. Mm -hmm. Casaboom, yellow collared hackle, in this case, deer hair. Mm -hmm. And you got a little flash of green on the back as a butt. Is that antron? Uh, Antron, but we're going to use stretch now. Huh? Oh. So okay. it's a nice and a red head, and which is common, to, by the way, to both flies. The, the red head it was used on the casaboom and the rats. Okay. Well, let's check out what we need to help tie this rataboom. The hook is a number four low water. The thread is white 3 0 monocord, red 6 0 monocord. The tag is five oval sensor, silver tinsel. The tail is peacock sword fibers. The butt is fluorescent green, stretch, nylon. The ribs, oval, silver, tinsel. The body is flat gold tinsel. The wing is gray fox guard hairs. And the hackle is yellow deer hair collared. And the head is red. And that's everything you need to tie. The gold hair hackle rataboom. Rataboom, rataboom, rataboom. <laughs> <laughs> OK, first material. All right, I'm out of here. Go for it. OK. We're going to go just to the very end of the return loop okay. and just get down over it. Now, because we need a lot of head space for our, ha our hair wing and also our hair hackle. So, the first material to be tied in is oval silver tinsel. All right. And we'll take that from over here, I guess. Like you would. Like you would. Would you like? Now, here we go. We get that tied in and we'll wrap that a few turns and then we'll lay down some cement, as the hillbillies used to say, the cement pond. Eh? Jethro. See, I watched all those important movies, shows growing up. What a guy. Oh, that's me. Okay, now we'll wrap it nice, close, even, tight turns all the way down. And all the way down is halfway between the, the point and the bird. Faster than a speeding bullet. You know me now. There we are, we're there. Yeah. And we'll make a few turns up. And again, we're gonna to have to make a, an adjustment in a sense, in that we want our tag and butt to be the length of, of the, the point in the barb. Okay. Okay, and so we're gonna go half and half. We're gonna to go to, the butt is gonna be, or the tag is gonna be half that distance, and the butt is gonna be half that distance. Now we've got that tied in. Correct the mondo. And the tail, we'll use four, four fibers for the tail. A peacock sword. And we'll lay that up, not to extend past the bend. And we'll tie it up. Now I'll just check the distance on that. I just want to make sure that I'm even with my my tag and my butt. Mm -hmm. These all these terms you, know, you sound like the sexual pervert, eh? Well, <laughs> you do anyways. <laughs> I love oh, the part too, but I don't what? comment on that anymore. No, no more comments on that. Okay. So what is this now? This is what? Fluorescent green stretch nylon. It's an excellent butt material. Doesn't fray out easily. Don't have the lacquer after it's tied in. 
Okay. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to reverse some of that tying thread, and I'm not going to carry that tail all the way up the body because it's not going to fill in all the way like I'd like it to. Mm -hmm. Now, it's tied down. There's enough bearing surface on those wraps of thread to keep that in place. So what I'll do is I'll clip it off there, and then I'll... So what are you going to do to build the body up? Oh, wait, there's... Don't you worry about that, young Don't guy. Don't you worry about that. Four turns in place to tie off that material. Tie it in, excuse me. Mm -hmm. And we'll wrap that down to the tail and wrap it back forward again. Now, you can vary the distance of the tail, or excuse me, the distance of the, uh, the width of the butt and the tag materials. Mm -hmm. You can put more tinsel in and less turns of fluorescent green stretch knot on, or vice versa. Now, we want to lay up around the side, and we want to use that as a filler again for that return loop. Now, I must say, uh, I like tying on uh, low water flies because there's not much of a return loop there. Okay. Okay, and the next material is medium, be. medium oval silver tinsel. And again, this brand I'm using here now is, is halfway between fine and medium. So it's just right for these flies. Okay, and we're going to take the core out of this because we don't want to build up too much bulk for our body, right? You did this last week. That's you right. Now we're, we're just going to show we got a, the end of it pinched, and we got a, enough there that so that when it when it uh, the waist end is tied in forward, mm -hmm. it'll fill in the return loop also. I could leave the, the core on, but it's going to build up too much bulk. Now what I'll do there is I'll just strip that delicate. You got to be delicate with this stuff. You can't pull it off at just any old point at all. Yeah, it's got to be right at where the hackle pliers are. Mm -hmm. So I've got that there now, and I'll just give it a little snap. It's strong stuff, I must say. Strong, a little snap, and it's out. And away you go. And we've got no loose ends of tinsel kicking around. There's a good, clean, even break between the core and the tinsel, right? Okay, now we're just going to wrap up one third of the body. Okay. And we're going to tie in some white, white floss. You can use yellow floss here because the body is gold, right? Okay. So yellow would be more, more of a color to use here, but we'll just use this. We're not going to see it anyway. No, you're not going to see it underneath. I hope not anyway. I don't want to miss. The reason why you use the, the, the color floss more closely to the color of the tinsel you're using is that if you miss a wrap, you won't, uh, you won't see Stand it. Stand out. Yeah, it won't see it as much. But it just takes a bit of time and patience to do it properly. It's easier to do it right than it is to do it wrong. Your father ever tell you that one? It takes less muscles to smile than it does to frown. Yeah, that's right. Your father ever tell you that one when you were growing up? What's that? Easier to do it right than it is wrong. Never heard that one? No. Oh, my, oh, my. I mean, he, was, that, that, he was good for a few sayings, but I don't yeah. particularly uh, recall that one. Then again, <laughs> John's from St. John, so... <laughs> Go easy now. Go easy on the boys out there now. Mm. We're a fine group. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. Did a mistake uh, already. See? Yeah, see? see? Not to worry. I should, have, I should have tied off there how, because I've got to tie in a wing. That's and right. The, the, the wing has to be, the, the, the wraps of thread over the wing has mm -hmm. to be Pretty well the same color as the, uh, as the deer hair you're going to be using, you know? Mm -hmm. It should be light. A bunch of glue there. Okay, we got it's spit, nobody knows the difference. Yeah. I guess that's the beauty of tying your own design, is you can sort of make it up as you go. Yep. Nobody will be the wiser. But I can tell you right now, this, this fly has the look of a, a fish catching lure. What do you think about all that? You see some of those fishing shows from the, the mainland and that, and they're great big, huge salmon, all that sort of stuff. All looks very exciting, and they're on like 80 pound test. And yeah. Great big, huge spoons and lures, and yeah, well, see, big mound of bass that they're catching with sticks of dynamite, and the whole works. I mean, my goodness, it doesn't seem to be as much. It's not as much fun. There's no doubt as much it. sport to it as, uh, as no, perhaps. No, uh, no, no, no. There's no doubt about that, John. But here's fishing. the thing, too, is that. Uh, 
But some, sometimes this is the only way to catch those fish. And, you know, to get way down underneath the water, right down, I mean, you go to 60, 70 feet to get down to those fish and whatever. Not my, my idea of, of sports fishing or, you know, fun, but mm. that's the only way to catch those fish. And they're having fun, you know. Anybody ever use fish finders on the on the bigger rivers in Newfoundland? No. For salmon? I wouldn't want to see it. Not against the law, though, is it? No, it's not against the law, but I wouldn't want to see it. I don't think that's sport, you know, not on the salmon river. The challenge is, is going out, finding where the fish lay, and then getting them to take the fly. Yeah. You know, machinery has no place in salmon fishing. Not in that time, anyway. Electronics, let's say. Okay. The yeah. only electronics that I carry when I'm out fishing? Motor on your boat. Your lighter. <laughs> <laughs> and a flashlight on occasion. The necessities of life. Yeah, I'm well, just shocking, hey? Yeah. What a terrible role model you've become. No, I know. Now, old pal, look, here we go. Look, we're building a nice tapered body. Mm -hmm. That's going to work out real nice, I must say. Oh, golly, the last two sliver or tinsel body flies I'm after doing, now they're after coming oh, out real well. Golly, Miss Molly. See, it, it only takes a little extra time that you don't know, do it right mm. to get achieved the results you want. And I'm just going to flatten that a little bit more, and I'm just going to wrap that forward again. Right here is where I'm going to tie it off. Tie the body off, okay? Okay. And what we're going to do now, again, is we're going to lay down some more cement on the top, and it just helps it from not sliding around, whatever that's all. Mm -hmm. Just enough there just to, to get it so that it's sticky. We're gonna wrap it so that the gold thought is out, correct? Edge to edge. Edge to edge. Now you might see some glue kicking around up, coming up through the tinsel, but that's great because that, you know, that ensures that the tinsel's being stuck to the shank in a sense, right? Mm -hmm. One. Two, two turns to tie off. It's a nice smooth body. Wicked old man. Yeah, I'll tell you though, uh, to be quite honest, you can achieve better results with metal tinsel than you can with mahler. But mahler is a lot easier to use. Metal has a tendency to break off a little more, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, if you're tugging a little bit too hard or something like that. It's, it's got to be tied in right. Uh, it, there's a certain procedure for tying in metal tinsels, mm -hmm. and uh, but the, the results, once you get it on there, it's bulletproof. And That's it's, why I look for in a fly, boy. Yeah, it's bulletproof, and uh, it just looks, you don't see any ridges or humps or anything like that. If it's done right, it's perfect. Yeah. OK, now we're going to put in a wing of Gray Fox Guard hair again. The last three that. flies, three we're getting some use out of this. Is right. What a beautiful piece of hair, man, oh, man. Yeah. If I can ever get another piece like that, I'll be, be happy. Now we just strip out that old under fur, right? Which we're saving for dubbing materials for yep. nymphs. Oh, yes, excellent, excellent, beautiful. Now, where's my stacker over here? Mm -hmm. And we'll just show it in there and stack it up. Don't come in. Wicked. Yeah. OK, lovely. What kind of a length are you looking for here? Just right? to the t ends of the tail, OK? Mm -hmm. And we'll just snip that out there, put that in our waist roll there. OK, now you see the angle that I've got it cut off on, mm -hmm. on an angle. So what I'll do now is I'll just take some glue. some glue, glue her up. Head cement, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Sticky stuff. Here we go. We just tie it in, in, in two sections. You don't have to get it's not very thick. Eh? No, it's not very thick at all. And it compresses well, really well. Mm. So you're still using your white thread? Yep. Now, the reason why I did that was because now I'm going to lay on, a, I'm going to tie this out first. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to tie on yellow deer here, and you don't want to see the tie off thread. If I had used red thread like I was using my, in my, going to use in my head, you'd see it underneath the yellow hackle, you know, or you don't want to do that, see? Always thinking. So always thinking ahead, boy. Lay on ahead. Now, here we go. Now again, as I mentioned previously a few shows ago, if I were doing this style fly, what I'd do is I'd do up a bunch of flies with the wing in and do the heads 
the, the little wing heads and tie it off, and I lacquer that three times. Mm -hmm. Just as you would treat a, a normal head, because you want your wing to stay in there. Although it's not, as, not gonna get as much stress as a, if, it was, uh, if it was uncovered, right? Mm -hmm. So that is your, your yellow deer here, of course, that you, uh, you dyed yourself. Yep. Remember that show we did where we demonstrated dyeing technique? Yes. Up at your kitchen? Yeah. That was a good show. You still using that piece or was that long gone? How'd that end up? No, I, st out? I still got it. It's a little yellowy orange kind of a color yeah. it ended up. Beauty. Okay, I'm gonna lay some cement down right here. Not, not much, just a little. And we're gonna put a section on top mm -hmm. and a section on bottom. Now I got one hair. You don't like. That I don't like. I don't like to go any more than half the body. A lot of time I'll only go third. Mm -hmm. So we go one, two, and then wrap back in nice loose turns. Now, the only reason you're doing that is that you're securing it a little bit so that you can clip out the waist ends. And as I said in the previous show, when we were doing a hair hackle fly, if you do spin on two bunches and try to clip out the waist ends, mm -hmm. you'll never get it out. Okay. So we're gonna go one, two. Okay. Turn it over. I'm not gonna use the rotary feature in the voice. Because not everybody has one. Not everybody has one, but so they see the, see the technique. That's awfully nice of you. Well, I consider it con guy, you know. Okay, we'll clip out. Yeah, I'll buy some of them anyway. <laughs> okay. Stack her up. Let's stack up another bunch. Let's put this in in two bunches. I don't have too much. You can't work with it. No, you just can't do it. And again, I'm not very little spot of cement. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll soon have to start wearing my glasses down here. No. No, really. I have to move the vice further away from you. Okay, and we'll put the other bunch in. One, two, and wrap back. One, two. Now we're just going to Just slightly. Yeah, okay, I'm not quite pleased with that. One, two. So you want the length to be the same? The as length the, is the same, but yeah. or it could be a little bit shorter on the, on the, the bottom uh -huh. portion. Okay. Okay, one, two, and I just spread it around a little bit more. It wasn't filling over in the other side. Okay. And I just wrap back for a couple of turns again, and what I'll do now is I'll just... Clip it away. Yeah. I guess, too, that's the importance of always checking both sides, because it can oh, be looking yes. great to you yeah. from your point of view, but then you, you end up finishing your fly, and you look at the other side, oh, it's all say, out uh, of proportion. And of course, the viewers are seeing the side of the fly, basically, that you're not seeing as you tie it. Yeah. I'll turn it over again. Take your wraps off. One. Okay. okay. Now I'll just bury that head in, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's looking like on the other side, but it's looking pretty good over here. Pretty tasty. Let me say, as uh, one of our viewers wrote in yeah. there a couple of weeks ago, it seems to be a, a common angling expression for anybody who's got a hot fly that they have to going to the bushes to tie it on. Yeah, <laughs> turn it around, turn your back to the, to the water or the fish yeah. is only going to snap it. Yeah. Now we got that whipped up and three coats of head cement to finish. And that'll do her. And you've got a nice fly there. So you don't want your head built up too much on this mm -hmm. one though. Rounded, it should yeah. be rounded. And the cement can help that. Oh, a super job, Ron. Thank That's you very a much. nice looking